In the biggest US deployment in Europe since the Cold War, three and a half thousand troops from the 4th Infantry Division have teamed up with their Polish allies as part of Atlantic Resolve, the start of a nine-month deployment to Eastern Europe. And the message here is clear. We are prepared for war. The best way to prevent a war is to prepare for it. In a show of strength alongside the Polish army, they held a live firing demonstration using Abrams tanks alongside the Leopards from Poland's 11th Armoured Cavalry Division to conquer a simulated enemy attack. Engaging targets at distances in excess of over two miles or 4,000 meters while moving at speeds in excess of 30 miles per hour or almost 50 kilometers per hour, all with a single purpose, to express the will of the Alliance on anyone who dares harm to our shared interest and way of life. Russian-backed separatists are fighting in Ukraine and Moscow has annexed Crimea. All of this has unsettled Poland and other NATO countries that border Russia, which is why the Polish president has come to Zargan to officially welcome the US forces. The mission has President Duda's full support. As the Polish people, as heirs of the great Polish military tradition, we want to extend a very warm welcome to our US allies, to the allies of the United States Army. The 4th Infantry Division held a ceremonial uncasing of their colours. They had been carefully packed at the Iron Brigade's home station, Fort Carson in Colorado, and they are uncased here to act as a visual representation of their commitment to their allies and their shared responsibility of strength and peace. This was followed by a walk around and vehicle inspection by the Commander of US Army Europe, Lieutenant General Ben Hodges, Deputy Commander US European Command, Lieutenant General Tim Ray, US Ambassador Paul Jones and Polish President Duda. His unwavering support to Atlantic Resolve, a mission designed to demonstrate to Moscow Washington's commitment to Europe, is apparent. And this is just the start of a persistent presence and nine-month back-to-back rotation for US soldiers. So they'll do the same thing that we're doing here with the Polish. Uh, they'll start their interoperability training with the Latvians, the Lithuanians, uh, the Romanians, uh, and then build, uh, build training uh, exercises uh, in, in support of Combined Resolve 8, which will be in Germany uh, in the spring. We also have the major NATO exercise, Sabre Guardian, which is in Hungary and Romania. That's in uh, early summer. And then we come back to Germany for Combined Resolve 9 uh, towards the end of the year. The overwhelming message here in Zargan is that they are prepared and they are ready. If anyone wants to be prepared for war, he needs to prepare himself. If you want peace, prepare for war. Amy Dewitt, Forces News in Poland.